We got to be kids in the candy store this week, touring the kitchens of two world-renowned candy makers in Lexington, Kentucky, Rebecca Roos Chocolates and Old Kentucky Chocolates. Join us for a behind-the-scenes peek. Hurt, Old Kentucky Chocolates in Lexington, Kentucky. And I started in business in 1964. In 1961, I was called to the service for the second time. And I ba uh, cooked and baked in a large mess hall. We fed like 4,650 people a meal. After that term in service, I uh, bought a bakery in Frankfort, Kentucky, where you all have just been. And uh, I stayed there five years. After a year, I realized I had everything to make candy except chocolate. So one day a salesman came in and he said, I said to him, do you know where a chocolate shop is for sale? And he said he did. And to make a long story short, I bought it on a Sunday out of bankruptcy. Moved it there and in 1969, we came to Lexington. And I realized that candy had a lot of shelf life and in the bakery, you had to do everything every day. And so uh, we made complete scratch uh, everything's made from scratch and, and we do the candy the same way. Well our specialty is bourbon cherries, bourbon truffles, bourbon creams, uh, we have to make a Kentucky Derby Mint and then we make an old-fashioned pull candy that we bought from the Colonel Sanders who's the Kentucky Fried Chicken and his mom loved hand pull creams and she told him she said I've got to have those creams so he bought a little factory and started making them and then we were able to buy it we sold these to the Kentucky Fried Chicken franchises for many years. The, um, the head engineer of Kentucky Fried Chicken's daughter went to the university and we met them through that and he was in charge of when they decided to sell and he knew we were in the candy business, we worked out a deal. Started in 1919 by Rebecca Gooch and my mother, Ruth Hanley. And uh, mother uh, got married in 1924, and I was born in 1927, and my father died in 1927. And so uh, mother, when she got married, she sold out the business to Rebecca. Well, in 1929, Rebecca uh, wanted to get married and she sold the whole business back to my mother and it's been in our family exclusively since 1929. Well, of course, we're known for the bourbon. It was my mother's recipe. So somebody told her uh, in 1936 that Frankfurt was celebrating its sesquicentennial and uh, some of her friends told her the two best tastes in the world were uh, Kentucky bourbon and Ruth's chocolates. And so I uh, said they ought to see if you can combine them. So mother works on them and combines them. And that's where they came from. And in 1919, when we started in the business, we were started by two women, Rebecca and Ruth. And at that time, women did not yet have the right to vote. They also named the business after their first names, which is more of a maternal style of naming a business, which the fashion of the day would have been to name it the last name and sons. Uh, but they use their first name, so it's uh, very unique. Want to learn more about RCI candy makers and their delicious treats? Keep watching foodchannel.com.